So I've had the PlayStation 5 for about a week now and depending on when I release this video, I'm sure it's gonna be over a week, but I just wanted to share my experiences using this next gen console as a pretty casual gamer and also someone who's used to you know doing all of my gaming on an xbox upon launch the playstation 5 was pretty amazing um maybe it's because i haven't had a playstation in well over a decade i think the last playstation i had was either the ps1 or ps2 but regardless first thing i noticed when setting it up is that the console felt pretty futuristic. Like, I really feel like I'm in the next generation of gaming when using the PlayStation 5. You know, maybe this is a bit over-exaggerated because I've been gaming with the Xbox and they didn't make a huge change to their home screen for the Series X and S, so maybe it's a little bit of that, or maybe it's because the PlayStation 5 has a really nice experience that's immersive. All right, before I continue talking about my experience with the PS5 for a week, I wanna take a moment to talk about the sponsor of this video, Trends Ultimate Knowledge Hub by The Hustle Newsletter. To give you a little bit of background information about The Trends Newsletter, it's essentially a community for entrepreneurs, creatives, innovators, investors, along with anyone who wants to stay ahead of the curve when it comes to things like you know culture and technology. Right off the back from using their website, I love the user experience. That's something I always pay attention to as a front-end developer, and I really enjoyed the fact that I could personalize my newsletter experience based on my interests. One article that captured my attention from the latest section was a direct-to-consumer article written about how a tiny peanut company grew to 500,000 in sales through going viral on TikTok. In this article, I learned about how they created a product based on a need they had, found a unique way to market it, and basically hacked their way into massive growth. With a subscription to Trends, you get access to a community of industry leaders and innovators where you also can you know, stay ahead of the curve and capitalize on emerging opportunities. Beyond just consuming information through the newsletter, you also will have opportunities to you know, network with other entrepreneurs and investors within the community. Also under the events section, Trends hosts lectures that are live every week where you can learn things like growth strategies through SEO along with how to send the perfect code email amongst other things. Right now, you can get your first two weeks for just $1. Go to trends.co slash J for your $1 two week trial. Once again, thank you to Trends for sponsoring this video. Okay, so believe it or not, I didn't play that um, already installed game that came with the PS5 that you know shows off the new DualSense wireless controller um, that offers you know the immersive haptic feedback, dynamic adaptive triggers, along with the built-in microphone and um, this really nice design that actually looks even better in person. The first game that I played was Spider-Man. One, because I was really excited. I love Spider-Man, especially the Miles Morales series. But um, off rip upon you know loading the game and launching the game, I could feel that haptic feedback from the railroad station when you know Spider-Man or Miles was you know listening to his music. The rapid station in New York uh, when he fist pumped you know people within the community and helped pick up furniture, I could feel that as well, and that was new for me, and it's it's made me really excited about gaming. Something about having that physical you know sensation within like the palm of your hands makes the experience feel more real chatting through the controller has actually been a great experience 
Apparently, the audio quality is exceptional to the point where my friends and our party thought that I was, you know, captain of an airplane giving a message, you know, to all the people aboard. So it's funny because I didn't utilize the um, microphone on purpose. I, I didn't even notice that it had a microphone. I just knew it had a speaker so I could hear people. And then I started speaking in it and they were like blown away by the quality of the audio, which is something that is very important when you're playing, you know, games like Call of Duty and you're in a party and, you know, you need to communicate with other people, you know, on your team. So that was a game changer for me. All right, moving on to a question a lot of people have been asking, um, or a lot of the focus has been on both the Xbox Series X and the PlayStation 5 is the size. So I will say that the PlayStation 5 is um, definitely bigger. Uh, it's bulkier, um, it's, it sticks out a little bit more because of that futuristic design. Some people say it actually looks like a Wi-Fi router, but I will say this, um, or a spaceship. <laughs> It does look really good in person. And one thing I noticed is when I added the stand or attached the stand to the PlayStation, it actually looked even bigger. Um, maybe that's because it's elevated a little bit. But once again, like the Series X, it fit perfectly within my IKEA you know, TV console. This isn't the biggest TV console either. It's maybe like 68 inches long at the most. Fits a 65 inch TV perfectly and maybe a 70 inch at the most but um, it fits perfectly and because of that white and black minimal, you know, sleek design, um, laying it flat, seamlessly integrated within my TV and console system. 